combination of the flowerful flavor of the Saint Germain with the coffee. So we have cold brew coffee and we have the dirty side of the crazy life of the bartenders, so a black lava soap. A very powerful and uh, flavorful drink. Cheers! What's so nice about it is that it uses ingredients that you would never typically think to throw together. The Jägermeister is what grabs the specific elements from each one of those and makes it a whole. I mean, this is, it's the bonding agent in this drink. Ungefähr alles, was ich liebe, ist drin. A little elderflower, a little bitters with the grapefruit and the lemon. It's delicious. It's like something when you start the evening and you want to have like a sip of coffee also. It tastes like perfectly. Delicious. Raise the glass, everyone. Prost. Oh, what is that other little botanical that's in there that's killing me? I can't get it. Elderflower. Oh, unbelievable. Bartender's ketchup up in that joint. Wonderful cocktail. I love the uh, floral and bitter aromas. Um, it's, it's wonderful. It's kind of a dough killer. It tastes good. It's so good. I like that uh, Rue made it, but I hate sure. Rue. American. President Donald Trump. Fuck it. Sell it. A lot of apple, apple tastes. Uh, honey, intense lemon. A nice mixture. Nice with the Jägermeister. I like it. Um, it's for France. It, it's very good. It's a little on the sweet side for me, but very drinkable. Not so bad. It's good stuff. One, two, three to the four. This drink makes you bang the floor. To be honest, you know, the Czech guys uh, make a really, really nice one. It's a coffee room, it's called, it, and it fits perfectly the Jägermeister into it, you know, because coffee and Jägermeister is always a very, very nice combination. Come on, it's a fucked up awesome drink, you know. The Aroma FIFA is einfach unglaublich schön. Erinnert mich, ja, wie soll ich das sagen, an einen schönen Spaziergang einfach. Weil am Anfang. Hat er so süßen und bitteren Noten und ändert seinen Geschmack einfach mit der Zeit und, und am Rachen vorbei. It's a really well balanced drink. You get the herb of the Jägermeister, you get the dry of the Aperol, you the warmth of the bourbon, and the tart of the lemon juice. Really well balanced, fantastic drink. Well done, guys. It's sweet at the beginning and you have a little taste of Jägermeister and this bourbon whiskey in it. But at the end, you have that likely taste of a little bit coffee and that's all fine. Very good drink, very good drink. I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna drink more of these ones. Un poquito de fine sherry. Buenísimo. Probarlos, por favor. España. Well, Jägermeister present. Rye whiskey is giving a nice uh, kick. Yeah, increasing the alcoholic volume. Uh, good balance of the Grand Marnier, nonetheless. But the most important thing, the second aftertaste, yeah, swallow everything, it's drying out a little bit. You have a nice, smooth and uh, savory uh, touch from the Fino Sherry. That's why it's called the Hunter of Seville. Hello. So, amazing mixture, nice balance. You feel the Jägermeister, you got a rye whiskey and the touch of um, the sherry, what makes best, uh, specifically uh, Spain, so you should got it. I really like it. It's uh, really, really bitter and uh, we've got a good uh, equilibre. I don't know how to say it in English, sorry. It's really tasty. It's the best cocktail of the day. I love you.